Hello, beautiful friends. I'm back. I am back. I have, uh, I've not posted for over a week now, and it's been even longer since I actually recorded a video for you guys. I, um, went on a deeply sacred spiritual retreat uh, a couple weekends ago, and, um, let's just say that it was an extremely powerful and magical weekend. Four days spent really in the upper dimensions with other beautiful souls. And um, I had to take last week to myself to come back and integrate and um, take in the new energies, take in the new downloads that I received. So I had to honor myself and that process. So I am back here to record an energy update for the collective divine masculine and divine feminine. So, so much to share. Uh, the energies have been quite intense since that Scorpio full moon. And, um, because I've been MIA, I was, I've been off the grid for the last two weekends, like completely no access to email, computers, anything like that. So if you have sent me an email about um, an extended reading purchase, it's going to take me a while to get back to you. Um, really quickly, for those of you, I did get a couple questions. Um, if you've purchased an extended reading and you want to rewatch it later, please do not go to the YouTube video and click on the link in the description box to access your video because it's going to make you repurchase and you do not have to repurchase the extended video if you've already purchased you will receive an email directly from the system that has your personal private link so please do check your email your spam folder everything like that for um, it usually doesn't go to spam but please do check that um, I just wanted to mention that to you guys as well. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at the overall energies of the Divine Masculine Collective and the Divine Feminine Collective. These videos are intended to be timeless. Um, and I'm not going to be doing the energy forecasts for the week this week because I'm going to be doing the June energy forecasts for the masculine and the feminine. So keep an eye out for those. Those will be coming out this week. But we're in a really pivotal time right now since that Scorpio full moon up until the new moon, which is, I believe, next week. So um, lots of stuff shifting, changing, happening here. So keep your <laughs> hang tight, guys. Um, the ride ain't over, but it's all really pivotal, important changes. So let's just get started here. Let's first pull an overall energy for the Divine Masculine Collective. And I'm going to ask Spirit to, um, to, to hone in on one specific segment um, in this reading. And sometimes I may say that and they still might bring in multiple, but let's see what we can do with just one specific segment of the Divine Masculine, like leading edge. Let's see what's going on with him. This We're getting your hard work is paying off. So definitely the masculines are feeling an energy of accomplishment here. Um, this is they're starting to see the fruits of their labor. They're starting to feel secure. They're starting to feel stable. It's like I'm just getting this energy of um, it's like they've been working, working, working on many different aspects in their lives, um, on their growth, on their finances, on their stability, and they're starting to reap the rewards. It's like I feel this momentum building for the divine masculine where they may have been like chugging away, chugging away, chugging away, and with not very, not very much um, in the way of tangible results. But as we know, with um, hard work and manifestation energies um, and intentions, that sometimes the manifestation can take a little while. So it feels like the masculine's having something popping up. I'm getting these images of like flowers starting to blossom for the divine masculine where he's seeing the, the the fruits of his labor so the beautiful energy to start this reading with here let's see where this segment of divine feminines is at and so this is going to either resonate for you or not okay so we're getting expect powerful change and ex you're very close to achieving your goal that just flew out together so i have to take it so we are getting expecting powerful change like I said, um, there is change afoot. 
and uh, it is happening. It is popping up here and there in different ways, but some of you guys may not have seen a manifestation yet of this big change, but trust me, it's com coming. I'm hearing a rumbling, like a rumbling in the distance. So it's here and you're close to achieving your goal. You're very close to achieving your goal here and um, it's quite almost there. So it's almost like you guys are right at the 99 yard line here of getting into a new phase in the journey. So let's see what is happening. So we're going to pull cards here for the Divine Masculine. Let's see what is happening in his world. I'm going to pull three cards. And I'm not going to read reversals. Unless Spirit guides me to. So. Well, there's three cards, right? Oh, that's four cards. I'm going to take them. All right. So we're getting the two of wands, the lovers, the sun, and justice. So holy cow, right? This is a flow of energy. Recent, past, current, what's coming in. So guys, this is... Um, this two of wands, I always feel this two of wands comes through as, you know, typically the two of wands in the traditional tarot. It's one person standing, looking out. And holding those world and here is this world being offered and there's another hand here it's like let's do this together you're ready to go let's go do this so there is a joining of forces coming in here this is recent past again whether it's recent past or flow it's the flowing of the energies so um, this could be starting to happen now or this is like starting to have evidence of this because when we're getting the lovers and the sun and the justice card right away it's like let's do this together here's this incredible partnership this high 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 vibration partnership along with the sun i mean hello hard work is paying off he's ready to you know partner up here and with an equally powerful partner and the two of wands to me also is an energy of continuing something that's already started so when I get the lovers and the sun right after this, it's like he's he's getting ready to go. I'm getting the image of the masculine, like, you know, when, you know, being a gentleman, very debonair, holding his arm out like the crook of his arm for his his lady to put her arm into his and he's going to walk her, make an entrance with her. That's the image they're giving me. Um, so there is also this balance and this justice, this karmic balancing coming in sort of like, okay, the hard work is paying off. You reap what you sow. And this work is starting to come to fruition here. So, wow, big, I mean, three major arcanas here for the divine masculine. And guys, also these readings are intended to be timeless. So whenever you're watching these and it's resonating for you, that spirit's way of bringing you the message when it's intended for you. So let's see where the divine feminine is. Well, she's getting the four of pentacles to begin with. Let's get two more, please. Four of pentacles, four of... <laughs> this is why she's getting you're very close to achieving your goal. Whoa. All right. That just dropped on the floor. Hold on. And I'm tethered, of course, to the microphone here, so it doesn't make that easy. Oh, and the magician. All right, here it is. You're close to achieving your goal. You're close to this manifestation. But right now, you might be feeling a little miserly, a little bit guarded, divine feminine. And you, you may be feeling a little bit discontent, a little bit bored. Like, when is this, like, when is there this change that's going to happen? I've been here, I've been waiting, and it's just like, here it is, another rainy day. So the divine feminines are getting, <coughs> excuse me, let's take a sip of my tea here. Um, the divine feminines are getting this, I'm getting a bit of a stubborn energy with both of these fours. It's like, I'm just seeing her like, uh, like standing her ground a little stubborn. But it's right in advance of this manifestation with the magician coming in. So we're getting powerful change. You're close to achieving your goal and the manifestation. 
This is her landing it. It's interesting that this is a female in this deck, the magician. So um, that doesn't go unnoticed by me. So definitely an energy coming in where just when she least expects it, there's going to be powerful change. I'm feeling like she's maybe missed the party and that, okay, this is never going to happen. So guys, there's also a lot more coming in. I'm launching some programs here in the near future. I've been working on behind the scenes. And uh, for those of you that are really interested in the ascension process and how to navigate some of these energies and some of the bigger spiritual principles behind this journey of awakening, um, please keep an eye out on the channel. Hit this, the subscribe button or the notifications because um, that's how I'm going to be announcing it. This is going to have to do with a lot of this because I do have a bunch of videos I've I've recorded that are going to be part of a bigger project. So hint, hint, I'm not going to get into it now, but let's see here. Let us see um, where the divine masculine is in his headspace. Get one card. And he's in the six of swords energy. So he's definitely coming out of the weeds. He's coming out of the weeds. He's made it through. Things are moving to more be smooth sailing right now. And um, he's ready to take the helm. You know, take care of his feminine, like back her up. See where he is in his heart space. And guys, if this is resonating, I am going to be doing an, um, a second reading, piggybacking on this one, which is going to focus more on the dynamic between the two. So if this is resonating, um, that link is going to be down below for those of you that want to go more into the dynamic between you guys. So let's see where he is in his heart space at the moment. Ace of Rods. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's ready. He's poised and ready. It's like there's this energy of confidence coming through the masculine where it's like his heart is ready to to follow his passion, to pursue his passion. Both his purpose in his life as well as his feminine. Um, she has lit something up in him because things have now aligned in a way and she has been an inspiration to him in a lot of ways, in many ways that she probably doesn't even realize. And it's like his heart is ready to go. He's feeling intense passion for her, but also it's like this truth. And look at how many of the um, leaves are sprouting off of this, this stick here. So there's a lot of things blossoming, beginning to grow. This is the opportunity that he's been given. His hard work is paying off. Like I said at the beginning, he's starting to see the fruits of his labor. Well, here are the leaves coming in on this ace of rods. So very consistent energies there. Let's see what um, where the divine feminine is in her head space. And in her heart space. Where is she in her head space? Oh, she's at the full energy. Nice. It's like she knows that there's... She's kind of teetering here. I feel this energy of this teetering because he's right on the edge of going over this cliff. Ready to go for it. At any moment's time when the wind blows, it's just going to tip her over down the hill in this circle. So she is on the precipice here in her head. It's like she's, she could be feel. I know she's feeling it, which is why she's in this energy of the four of pentacles and the four of chalices. It's like she's been feeling it so intensely, this, uh, this, um, this new development in her dynamic with her masculine. And she's felt it for so long. And it's to a point where it's like, I've felt it for so long. Why isn't it here yet? So this feels like where she is in her head is like, you know, sometimes the gift of the divine feminine is her intuition. And sometimes it's like, don't you wish you had, you could like turn it off for a moment just so that you didn't know things so far in advance. I bet you some of you guys are feeling that. 
So let's see here where she is in her heart space at the moment. And she's at the Princess of Swords energy. So, you know, she certainly could be very curious. She could be watching her masculine from a distance, waiting for him, like, all right, is he here yet? Is he here yet? We're trying to understand what's going on. Like, did I miss? It's like I'm hearing, did I miss something? Like, I thought that I knew it was happening and it hasn't quite happened yet the way I thought. And so I'm not quite understanding. So there's this energy of, I'm getting like a little bit of a detective energy in her heart space. But it's also the energy of um, truth and clarity and something moving into the next dimension. Tell me why this prince, I'm going to pull another card for this. Why is this princess of swords? Give me another message about this princess of swords, please. In the heart space and the seven of wands. Yeah, she's feeling like she's got to stand her ground. Her heart is, um, because I just remember I was getting the stubbornness here, definitely coming in. And then it's like she could be putting up a barricade around her heart a little bit. Being a little defensive. I feel like this could be around other people's opinions of what she's doing. Um, this doesn't necessarily sp specify her masculine, but, and I'm just getting another message about the masculine. He may also have a new career endeavor here, um, that is bringing him to, to some sort of stability and peace that's now allowing him to focus on love. Okay. Sorry. That's just, they interjected with that message. So I wanted to make sure I said it before I forgot it because Lord knows I don't remember things consciously <laughs> when I channel. So, um, but yeah, it does feel like if you as the feminine, if you've talked to people about this and it's still not showing up, you may have some judgment coming in around you. Okay. So just be aware of that. So let's see what energy is supporting the masculine right now. What energy is supporting the masculines? The death card, this transformation. Mm-hmm. The closing out of the old chapter to begin this new one. So a beautiful energy. The transformation that's happened in him is massive. You know, if you've not been in communication or in limited communication, you don't even know how much the transformation has happened yet. It's like you're going to see a whole new masculine. Let's see what energy is um, challenging him. The king of rods. Yeah, taking that final action, being really confident with that action. You know, wanting to be 100% certain. And, and like, it's, I'm hearing taking the bull by the horns. So he may be having a little bit of an issue taking the bull by the horns, but it's okay because it's, look at all this beautiful energy, right? Because things are transforming for him. Um, but it's just may, maybe making that one big, bold approach here. He could be calling some things out of his life right now just to really make it clear. It's just you and me. Let's see for the Divine Feminine what energy is supporting the Divine Feminine. This one wants to come out. And we're getting the Knight of Wands. All right. So again, action, energy forward. Um, definitely, she's definitely feeling... Um, I'm getting this image of like prodding the divine feminine awake. There's like, not that she's fallen asleep at the wheel, but it's more like, you know, he wants to like zap her a little bit and be like, wake up. You're still here. You're still here. Don't fall asleep. It's almost here. <laughs> like don't, you know, how little kids are giving me the image of when little kids wait up for Santa Claus and then they, they probably swear they're going to wait up. They're going to wait up and then they fall asleep right before Santa shows up. That's what they're showing me. That's what she's, what's energy is challenging the divine feminine. Okay. The death card. Interesting. 
So it's an energy that's supporting him and it's an energy that is challenging her. Very interesting that they're both getting the death card for that. So some of the feminines may be They're giving it to me. So it's like they may be they may be struggling with waiting for the completion. You know, it's like we've had this. We're ready to move to the next phase. We're ready to take this leap of faith. We're ready to go and move forward into the next journey. And um, it's been, you know, she's been struggling with the ending of a chapter. Either that it's not here yet or that she's has an, some ch some chapter in her life, something that is... Um, challenging her for sure but it is interesting because it's it's the same energy but it's affecting both of them differently so um i am going to go and do a i'm going to pull a guidance card for each of you right now um for those of you that are not going to continue on to the next one i want to leave you with some guidance of how to navigate this energy if you want to join in the um second version of this energy is we're going to take a look at the dynamic between the two, what's actually happening, how they're both relating to the dynamic between the two, what they're both consciously thinking and feeling about the other. And we are going to get into guidance, a lot more guidance of how to navigate these energies. So it's like, it's, this is a complete reading in and of itself. These are the overall energies and we're going to pull a guidance card. But if you want to get more in depth as to how to best navigate this what spirit wants you to know then that's going to be in the link in the description box below so let's get a guidance card here before we move on to that first for the divine masculine please what's your best guidance for the divine thank you a favorable outcome thank you for the beautiful outcome to the situation which is perfect and fair for everyone involved thank you archangel michael for helping me trust and have faith so th need I say more? So Michael is telling the masculines, the guidance for you is that there is a beautiful outcome. And with this, you know, if you've been on the edge of doing something divine masculine, communicating some truths, making whatever move you want to make with your feminine or in your life in general, you're going to have a good outcome to it. All right. It could be for both. But, um, with the lovers and the sun and the justice card here, it's like I I mean and the favorable outcome, Ace of Rods here, transformation, hard work paying off. This is a beautiful, beautiful energy. So that's a nice reassurance to have, isn't it, Mass Divine Masculine? So let's see here for the Divine Feminine. What's your best guidance for the Divine Feminines in this in this reading, please? Are you going to give me a card or am I going to have to pull one? Pay attention to your dreams. So you guys are getting a lot of guidance to your through your dream space. And there could be extra messages coming through now. And um, if you think there's dreams that are like wish fulfillment or they're not real, um, you're going to feel the energy in them. And that's how you're going to know. But pay attention to your dreams. There may be some guidance. There, there, there is guidance coming through them for you. Um, they could be giving you some hints, some clues. They could be giving you some direction, some things to consider. So definitely pay attention to your dreams, Divine Feminine, because that's the way that the Divine is going to be communicating with you um, at this phase of the journey. So, all right, lovely friends. I hope that this was helpful. Do keep an eye out for the June energy forecasts that are going to be coming in. And um, I, if you want to join me over in the second part of this reading, then the link is down below. And in the meantime, guys, I send you so much love. Bye.